Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Revfolia. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character and see who we might get on this joyous day of days. Because last time, Maggie, see, pretty simple but fun. Um, last time I recorded yesterday was an absolute shit show. It, it, everything just did not go the way that I'd hoped it to. We got Tummy Bug. Isaac will occasionally stop fire and release a spray of his tears at a high arc. That sounds kind of interesting. Uh, it's also a revelations item, which I like. Thank you for the half heart. Um, let's just see if we can get this to proc before I go into a room to see exactly how this works. Because with it being tier 1, it makes me think that it's not good. Um, it does say a high arc as well, which also leads me to believe it's not going to really do what I want it to. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not particularly good, I'll be honest. Um, oh, did these guys get a respray? These little... Or oh, this is just a different version of this enemy. They look, they look very different. Oh no, okay. I'm gonna have to go and take these guys out before I can do pretty much anything in this room. Okay, that's not so bad. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Hey, we got one of the sticky pennies. Yeah, because it's just creating an unfathomable amount of white, um, white spiders here. Right, okay. I really, really hope that we get... Um, what the hell? What's with the puke? Um, I really, really hope that we get um, a sacrifice room this floor because we have very much so many of the means to make one of those work. Um, we did just lose our devil deal, but I'm not that asked about that. Oh, I was going to lose it to that thing anyways. Damn well hate these enemies. These guys are really a really big pain in the ass as well. How early they can show up, they're horrible. Range up's rather nice here. Of course, we've got this full health going on. This is going to be a quality 4 item, and I know it's going to be a quality 4 item, because I've said it's- I've said it to be so. Oh, hello, you've managed to blow yourself up. Very well done. Yeah, this is going to be a quality 4 item, and it's going to be a Revelations quality 4 item at that. Just- just you watch, just you watch. Exactly, you see? You see? No, still- still a very fun item, though. I do not mind that at all. Off that. Oh, hello. Ooh. Kind of a weird thing that this works with um, chocolate chocolate milk like that. Weird like spray attack thing, whatever you want to call it there. Interesting. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, um, what is something that you are afraid of, but not like as in a fear? What's just something generally that like you don't want to happen or like something that like in, in life just really sets you like makes you uneasy or not because for me i don't know i've i've recently i won't say recently but i've like over the past few years found out that i'm pretty bad with gore like i don't it's not like i'm i'm scared of it or anything i'm not gonna faint if i see gore but like makes me a lot more uneasy than i thought it would than i thought i ever did and i, I never considered myself someone that was is it gorephobic you call it no gorephobics go, is it is gorephobic where you're scared of light I'm going to have to check this now. Gorophobic's definitely something else. Um, Gorophobic. No, it's agrophobic. Gora. Gorophobia. That's a band. No. I didn't want to... Fuck. <laughs> I think it's just a band. <laughs> um... Yeah, it might. <laughs> I swear, someone, someone will have to try and like let me know if you can, if if you if you know what I'm talking about. I swear there is such a thing as gorephobia, but it's not to do with um, it's not to do with gore. It's like fear of light or something like that. I can't remember what it is now. Anyhow, yeah, that's something that recently I found out that I'm really not a fan of. Like, I always knew that I wasn't a big fan of it, because, like, I've never watched the Saw films or anything like that. They've, they've just never really appealed to me. Uh, how, I can't remember how you do this room. Um, how the how the bloody hell do you do this room? I can't remember. I think I've got to go... Boom. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's it, that's it. I did it. Got a soul heart out of that as well. I'm going to leave the soul heart on the floor for now, just in case there is a sack room. It's looking less and less likely that there is one, but we can only hope. We can only hope. 
I'll definitely go to my curse room as well, actually, even if um, we don't have a sack room. It's looking like we're probably just going to have a curse room, no, uh, no sack room. Oh, we didn't even get a curse room, okay. Kind of bizarre. How bizarre. I quite like the arcing tears, because they, they, they seem to hit pretty pretty easily. That was uh, some damage I shouldn't have taken there. Three rolls items into devil or angel pool has a small chance to convert them into holy or devilish themed items or chests. Okay, I think I'd rather take this than the um, full health right now. I'll be honest. Got another tinted rock here that I somehow didn't see earlier. Ooh, that's just a golden chest. I'll take that. That is a very good golden chest as well. I think we shall be taking a nice little trip to our shop to see what we have available to us. I'm very high energy today for some reason. I think it's just because I'm on like the tail end of being ill. I'm not as ill anymore and it's making me happy. Um, the hell is this thing? The Shattered Dice. Passively, item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Rerolled items will attempt to be of higher quality than the original item. Breaks if dropped. Single use. On use spawns a dice shard and a few coins around Isaac. Item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Interesting. I mean, yes. Sounds kind of funky. Basically, from, from what I'm getting from this, I any item that I see, I cannot take as it is. Okay, what, what is this? Can you... No, I'm just going to leave you there. Um, so what I'm understanding from this is, any item that I see, I cannot take as it is. But it will always try and reroll to a higher quality. So overall, we should get a higher quality run. But if we find a good item, we're not going to actually get that item. This is going to be kind of interesting. Oh, I kind of forgot that, of course, there's two bosses. Right, one minute. I got an itchy nerve. There you go. I'm sorry about that. I always get, like, a really itchy nerve whenever I'm recording. It's, like, just Sod's Law. I spoke about Sod's Law before. It's just when something can be inconvenient, it always is. <laughs> I really like the fact that the uh, enemies that this guy spawns are, like, thematic for the colour. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of had a feeling I was going to get hit there. I don't think you can kill that, that bouncy one, from what I remember. Get your little waggly honey tail out there. Ooh. And we got a trinket out of that as well that I wasn't expecting. So, in theory, this should get re-rolled when I touch it. No? Ow. Chance to take a random pill and pick up a coin skills with luck. Ooh, that sounds terrible, but I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah, so overall, I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. Um, I don't know under what circumstance it's going to reroll. Oh, okay. Someone did explain to me how to, um, how to fight this enemy. Still do not remember whatsoever. I'm still going to get hit by it loads, I guarantee. Basically, you said, like, stay to the side of the screen. I mean, it doesn't matter. We managed to kill it pretty quick. So, okay, no, it did re-roll it. Okay, no, 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 no. I see what happened. I s in this room, we got the roll of pennies, which spawns pennies on touching it, but we actually got the stapler, but it still triggered the on pickup effect. So we kind of got two items in one there by accident. I, I really, really like this spacebar item. I'm I'm actually quite a big fan of um like situations like this where it's a spacebar item that isn't really a spacebar item. It just occupies the spacebar slot because of its power. I kind of think that's good. Also, we're not gonna go to the glacier path because I don't want my game to crash. <laughs> we'll go back there soon. But today I'd like a nice normal run. But yeah, it also makes our misprinted Joker probably probably quite significantly worse. No poly for you, thank you, sir. But we just don't, we just don't want to um, pick up. We, do, we don't. Sorry, we don't want to drop this or um, pick up under the space bar at all. Item there for seven cents. Kind of strange. I will most certainly take that. Ooh, these guys have a nice little new sprite when, they, when they're chasing. Honestly, chocolate milk with this amount of damage right now is so nice. I love this. 
So yeah, we're always going to get a different item than the one that's visibly there. But like I said, it does seem to have a chance, or at least a good chance, to upgrade their quality. So should be overall pretty darn good for us. By the looks of things. I see you there, Mr. Rowley. You're all invisible, but I see you. Got an AWOS, which is actually pretty incredible. Um, floor decals. I can never remember which one classes as floor decals, so I'm sure to come here and do it on the grass. One that I recognize easily. Um, okay, uh, can I can I push these? No, I can't. I'm going to have to bomb them separately. That's fine, though. I feel like it's worth. We got uh, the adjustment here, which is pretty good. We got our bombs back. Increase the range at which you can see unexplored rooms. Um, that's kind of good. Yeah, I'll take that. That's that, that's decent. And here we've got mystery item. So let's just use our misprinted joker here and see what happens. I don't think it's going to work for us, but... Okay, so we, we, we just got this dude. Yeah, I don't know if that worked or not. Tea is down. That's fine. With chocolate milk, that's not so bad. It's not great, but I'll accept it. Don't pop that rainbow poop. If we get a sack room, that could be very useful. Why'd you have to freeze him right on top of the fucking rainbow poop, dude? Yeah, we'll keep that around. Okay. I like the, 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 the freezy dude. He seems to be pretty useful. He's freezing a lot of stuff for us. Adjustment again. Adjustment's such a good card. Such a good card. Another pill there. I mean, I might as well take all the pills at this point. Hey, there's a tears up. We puked out some green again. That must be to do with the um, the first item we got there. The one that's doing the big pukies. Some pill puking going on. God damn, chocolate milk, we are wrecking house right now. It's great. But yeah, actually being able to see ahead a few rooms is super valuable. Even though it doesn't tell you which like which ones are special. Quite nice. Which a bit more uh bit better way of like pathing out. We should probably go and buy that seven cent item that was in the challenge room. Look at this, everything's just frozen constantly. This guy's nuts. Pin, pin. Where are you now? There you go. But no sack room, unfortunately. Let's go buy our seven cent item. And get whatever random thing it rerolls into. It seems the rerolled items still stay within their pool, though. So we're not going to get anything crazy. Although if we got chaos, it could be pretty interesting. It was seven cent, wasn't it? And it wasn't the challenge room, wasn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting now. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, here it is. Heart purse. I don't know what that does. Either way, we have it now. I'm pretty sure I have had it before. We'll find out later on, I guess. It's a boss item, so I'm imagining it's something to do with health. And it's a heart item, so I'm imagining it has something to do with health. Right, um, let's do our boss now. Should be finding our secret rooms, really, but I haven't the time. Ooh, yeah, this is chunky damage we're putting out here. Chunky damage. And you still seem to be freezing him every now and again. Well, obviously not as reliable as the regular enemies. Still doing pretty well. Also, this guy hasn't moved yet, which is rare. Oh, there was, like, a heart that landed in the middle there. Um, yes, I'll take that. And we got, we, we actually got Squeezy there, so that's fine. But we didn't get the two soul hearts that Squeezy would regularly drop. Because we didn't technically pick up Squeezy. It's, it's, it's a kind of strange way of doing it. It seems to, you pick up the original item, and it triggers that pickup effect, but you get the other item. Weird, but interesting. It's pretty good to get early on, especially when there's a luck penny in there. 
well up for that. Gotta love luck pennies. Okay. Can we get to, can we get to those bombs? I think so, right? Yeah. Why the hell not then? I think with this room we want to be spamming a little bit. I love the fact with chocolate milk you can spam as well. Chocolate milk has some really interesting synergies too. My nose is itching so badly right now. It's very frustrating. Got another ethereal penny. They're pretty rare, they are. Don't get them too often. Ooh, I <laughs> found it funny when you freeze one of these enemies and they start, like, crawling all over each other and get, <laughs> they get kind of wacky. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of the April's Fool's challenge with this, uh, with having the space bar. Because nothing is as it seems. Nothing is quite as it appears. Thank you. Ooh, we got a glass D12 out of that. Was not expecting that. Don't think we got a great place to use it just yet, but... We'll find somewhere. That was very close to me being hit there for basically no reason. Look at all of them freezing. All of them get frozen. Beautiful. Second secret room we could definitely try here. We got enough bombs to give it a go. Unfortunately not. Quite a few places it could be actually because it could be uh to the right on this room no no maybe not actually right that's a lot of sporters <laughs> but yeah it essentially nullifies two or three enemies in the room at once so when i kill an enemy sometimes a heart like tear drops from the sky that's what i'm getting out of this We did get a boss. You're going to fire explosives, so be careful. We got Midas Touch out of you. Um, not particularly good, but it'll get rerolled anyways. Into Chaos! What was I saying? Oh, lovely. That, this is going to get real wild. Holy, so not only is the item not going to visually be what it actually is, but also it's going to be getting... <coughs> It's going to be getting rerolled into something else on top of that. You watch us find some absolutely stonking good items now, and we, we can't actually pick them up. God damn, I I love it. I love a good chaos run. Chaos is such a batshit crazy item. Oh, I should have gone into my chaos room through the uh, through the secret room there. It was a bit stupid of me. Bit stupid of me. Could have saved myself a bomb there as well, actually. A extra soul heart, lovely. Yeah, this is a fun run. This is this has got some really interesting stuff going on. Considering it was only a Maggie run as well, definitely got some cool stuff going on. <clears throat> Love it when you can turn a character wacky like this. Freeze you bitch, and then, yeah, like these little heart things fall on them. Seems decent enough. Seems decent enough to me. Oh, that was a very bad hit. Luckily, I've got the health to sustain a hit like that, but not one I want to be taking too often. Right, so item room. Visually, we have the Celestial Strawberry, um, which sounds really good, but that's not what we're getting. We're getting Dr. Fetus. <laughs> um... Unfortunately, I don't think Dr. Fetus has any synergy with chocolate milk, which is a little bit of a shame. But Dr. Fetus in itself is pretty good, also. Wait, what? It said plus soul hearts, and it didn't give me a soul heart. Okay, it doesn't matter. I thought it said... I, I'm, I'm, I think I misread that. That's fine. I don't read too good. And by that, I just mean I don't... I choose not to read much of the time. And it definitely annoys some viewers, but... Oh well. <laughs> just blowing up all the mushrooms I can just because why not? Okay. Right, let's get gone. 
But yeah, we already had a pretty good run. Dr. Fetus is definitely making this run even better. It's just a shame that we uh, we lose our uh, ability to use chocolate milk. And what do we get here? BFF that actually is Mirror Bombs, which is potentially pretty interesting with uh, the setup. And we get False PhD, which is actually the um, Crown of Light. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, is that Crown of Light or Mirror Bombs doing that? I don't know. Either way, that's new. Hmm. Now, are these going to get re-rolled at all? I doubt it, right? The story items. No, they don't. Good. Yeah, so... Crown of Light... I, I'm not entirely sure what mirror bombs do. But Crown of Light is giving us some aura for some reason. But now it's not. Weird. Okay. Now I'm getting the picture. I think mirror bombs mirror the room type that we're in and give me a bomb synergy based on that, which is pretty awesome. Or maybe it mirrors the enemy typing? Hmm. This seems like a very fun synergy. Okay, we didn't, we're not got anything special in this room. It, I think it's probably room based rather than enemy based. But this is, this is pretty interesting. This is pretty cool. Yeah, because we didn't get anything special on this room here. Ooh, double hit there. You got me. Right, glass T12 in here, I think. Ow, immediately hurt myself. Great. If not like whatever noise that was. I think some of these enemies are not meant to be interacting with certain things that are in this room. Uh, the twins, I don't think that's going to be super useful for us. Anything in this room that's actually useful to us? Not really, unfortunately. Didn't get a very good reroll there, I don't think. But yeah, it seems like special rooms are going to give us some special, uh, special types of bombs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if catching those hearts does anything for me. Okay, that time we spewed out a bunch of Crown of Light shots. Oh, that's from our um, Death From Above raining shot, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Ah! That was really dumb. I kind of fired a bomb and didn't see it and just kind of stood on top of it. Hey, so hot. Lovely. Don't need the health too much, but it's, it's good to keep it going. Yeah, I'm really liking the synergies that we've got going on right now. Hopefully we can get even more bomb upgrades. I'm hoping that we can find a, a bomb beggar at some point during this run. Ooh, the menus look interesting. I wonder if we get anything special in the item room. Let's check, shall we? No special explosions in. Oh, wait, no, we got um a patch on the floor. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure if we if we pick that up, it'll put our um, it'll put our current active down and it'll destroy it. So I'm not gonna do that. Like I said, now that we've got chaos, it doesn't actually matter that much. But this upgrades the quality, so for quality's reasons, it's it's pretty pretty good to keep it going. So I, I think I think we're just getting these black patches everywhere. Um, I'll just pop that now. These black patches everywhere because we're on dank depths. That's what's been mimicked this floor. So we are getting a mimic on these rooms. And then like on the wound, we'll probably get blood on the floor. Oh, hello. Yeah, that works out quite nicely. I like it quite a lot. Good 
good bit of money as well out of this. Ooh, Soul of Bethany, Soul even better. Bethany. Soul of Bethany. Okay, here's the boss room. This is an XL floor, apparently. That's our second XL floor so far. The Mirror Bombs with uh, Dr. Fetus. A very, very cool combo indeed. I think regularly this wouldn't be that great. But with Dr. Fetus especially, it's it's got something going on. It's got something going on. Yeah. Boom. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to go find my other item room first. And also a shop would be pretty valuable. We should probably go into that. We've already found it. I want to see if the shop has any special bombs as well. Right. Oh, yep, yep. There is indeed a special bomb here. And it's a potentially pretty useful one. We get, oh, no. We, we can only get spiders once. Enemies have a chance to drop fiend minions on death. Yes, please. I like that very much, sir. Oh, I thought the spikes were down for good. Walked right bloody into them. I do that all the time. Like, ooh, a little shortcut here. I could have spent two extra seconds just going around the guaranteed safe way. But no, I'm like, ooh. I could go this way and it'd be half a second faster. And, of course, the spikes come up and it screws me over anyways. Wait, what? How is this room not finished? Oh, there's a fly right there. I didn't, that. didn't even see it. These enemies are spooky. Very spooky indeed. Oh, there was, a, there was a, again, still a spider left in that room. When they get um, turned into stern by a little gorgon dude, it's very hard to see them against the floor sometimes. Um, We might as well do this room again, because it'll be even easier without the rocks there. See? We get no reward for doing that, but oh well. <laughs> okay, got you. And last one. Huzzah. Where exactly is our second item room here? I would very much like to see it. Wait, what did I end up getting from my shop? Because I, I just realized I bought an item and it obviously wouldn't have been that item. So I have no idea what I gained from my shop. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Nothing is as it appears to be. Goat Head, which is going to be 2020. And that, which is going to be Toy Piano. <laughs> I mean, I I'll definitely take 2020 and be pretty happy about it. And in here, we get the Pact, which is actually Perseverance, which I don't know what that does. Most intriguing game. Most intriguing. Okay, I got a little symbol above that enemy's head when I killed it. I think Perseverance is... Oh, bloody hell. It's the one where uh, <coughs> I have, like, an increased chance to get um, champion enemies, but they can drop more. Something like that. Slightly worried about my HP. Only slightly. Magician, I might as well take for the boss. I'm doing some of these extra rooms just in case there's some tinted rocks and stuff. About. 2020, beautiful. Also, 2020 got a bit of a buff in the most recent patch. I think now it's a 20% damage downgrade rather than a 25. Or a 15 rather than a 20. I can't remember exactly what the numbers were, but the they changed it by about 5%, so it's not it doesn't lower your damage quite as much anymore. Right, to the boss, to the boss, to the boss. To the boss, to the boss. I wonder if there's gonna be any special thing on the boss room if it's just gonna stay with the dank depths. Sticky ickies. I reckon it's just going to be the sticky icky one still. It's an XL floor as well, so I think we want to keep our um, thingy for the next, our card for the next room. 
Yeah, we get this little thing above the, above the enemy's head, look. Oh, maybe it's like the more, more damage to the enemy, the more you hit it, because the, the swords above the head got bloodier each time I hit them. That is, again, an active, so we can't take that. I'm pretty sure if we do, it will class as us dropping our active, which is a real shame. <clears throat> Beautiful. We'll take... <clears throat> we'll take the negative, why not? Let's head on down. <sighs> so far, so interesting. This has been quite the weird run. I'd like to get at least one more bomb upgrade going, if we can. Yeah, that does seem to be what it is. The more we hit an enemy... Yeah, I told you if we went to the womb, it'd be blood patches on the floor. That's exactly what it is. I like this enemy. He's pretty cool. Okay, he can't be killed. Yeah, got blood patches on the floor. It just mirrors something from each floor that we're on. We'll not re-roll. I will D12 the entire floor, though. That seems like a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure it's after we finish every room. Every, every room that is now uncleared gets um, D12'd. Just because it could mess up the combat if it did it beforehand. Could it could yield us with some good rewards. Could yield us with absolutely nothing. You never know. Damn it, I'm trying to hit this golden poop and it's just a pain. Not that I really need to, but... Oh, there's red fires there. For some reason I didn't realise they were red fires, even though it's very, very clear. Damn it, you are getting wrecked, my good boy. My good sir. <clears throat> right, careful for red fires. That's what we want. We want <clears throat> blue fires. Pretty much exclusively. It's the blur. The spawns at the bottom of the screen. That is a good blur. Oh, damn, he hit me. We get ourselves... Whatever that is, um, Kappa, I don't, I don't know what that is. It gave me some damage though, by the looks of it. We get breakfast here, which is Reflux, which I'm <clears throat> not entirely sure what Reflux does. <clears throat> Soul Heart, lovely. Damn, not too much from that. <clears throat> I don't know what Reflux does. We'll find out. It doesn't seem to have affected us in any way so far. Might have lowered my fire rate, maybe? Nah, I think my fire rate was already about this low. Mum's box. We should we should play this out, because it's going to be worthwhile. Unless it takes all my money. Oh, wait, I can't. So I can take actives. Damn, I've left so many actives on the floor now because of that. I don't know what item I got there. Toothpicks is pretty good here. And then whatever this is. Mom's underwear. Turns into Mars. Ooh, we've got to love Mars, haven't you? Still no bomb beggar, sadly. Tech point five. That's rather nice. This has been truly, truly wacky stuff. Got a crawl space there. Lovely. Looks like the scarred room doesn't have a different effect for mirror bombs. Um, how exactly do I do this? Um, like this. <laughs> Slightly cheaty, but <laughs> it worked out actually. And we got a uh, bag of bobbies for that. Good old bag of bobbies. Ooh. Oh, uh, is this the item where if I stand still it fires lasers? It is. 
pretty good item. It seems that the um, ticking damage of the red creep scales up that perseverance heavily. Peach creep. Who is actually Eye of Balor. Oh, I, the Eye of Balor is really good if I remember correctly. Basically the last enemy in it. I think it's the weakest enemy in the room takes extra damage. Along along those lines. Dead Lung becomes membership card. Not very good for us, but hey her. Whoa! What on earth is this boss? Why is my angel all sorts of crazy? What the hell? Cricket's head! Hell yes! My goodness! Okay. Okay. <laughs> This run has been so wacky, I'm I'm all for it. Okay, and apparently this floor is all brimstone. And you are gonna give me Epic Fetus. Um I'm, for one, I'm genuinely surprised that we don't have any sort of visible synergy between Epic Fetus and Doctor Fetus. But also, yeah, that's just, this is not a great item to get, to be honest. We were doing much better without it. I'd, I'd like to get my Doctor Fetus going again. Still, I mean, this is incredible. The damage output's crazy, but... I think the damage output is actually less overall, maybe. A golden pill there. My reflection becomes possum ear. It broke it! You fucker! And then we got whatever this is. Spawns a, a big stationary tier acting as a landmine. Energized with tier effects. Oh, there it is. There comes. There goes that boy. Yeah, we lost it. Unfortunately, we lost it. Thank God we didn't get my reflection on the reverse with Dr. Fetus. That would have been terrible. <laughs> that would have been so bad. But I think we've crafted a, a very dodgy run here, and it's, it's kind of great. Also, I need to remember that, that to, to hurt things, I can just stand still. Like, it's a, probably a good idea to walk into a room, stand relatively still, and then just aim my rockets. Because I'm going to be dealing laser damage to the enemies otherwise. That's a lot of brimstones. I mean, this is working out just fantastically right now. Hello, boss man. I mean, the damage we are outputting right now is obscene. Absolutely ludicrous damage. <laughs> I'm loving it. Right, now these items won't get re-rolled. Ooh, new breath of life. Hmm. Certainly tempted by new breath of life. I don't know how to use it, and it would cost me one of my precious HPs, but I don't know. New breath of life is is kind of powerful now. It got a buff. It became usable. I don't know if it's good, but it's definitely usable now. Right, we're traipsing through to see if we can find ourselves a few more items here and there. Oh, we've got chaos. Don't walk into enemies. That is bad. 
Hopefully we can get a red heart to refill that up with. Probably not the... Gish is chasing me. Excuse me. Oh wait, can I Mars this? I can. And we got Mum's pad. Hell yeah. See, this is where keeping my other item would have been a good idea. Damn it, the bloody zappy zappies. They're so hard to dodge. I mean, granted, I didn't actually try then, but... Let me have this. At least I no longer need a red heart. Holy damn, the damage we are dealing. Ooh, a half soul heart. Huzzah. The world, this is very useful for us actually. So now I can beeline it. Actually, I'm not really beeline it to the boss, am I? Whatever. A quarter. See, this would have been something new. Would have been something exciting. Let's just go and do the Mega Satan, shall we? Take her on. <clears throat> So I think if we if we want to do really well here, we want to stay as still as possible so that we got those, these lasers still going off. Obviously, it's not always going to be plausible for us to stay still, but a lot of the time it is, because these lasers seem to scale my damage. That seems to mean that we're doing quite a lot with them. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting hit here no matter what, aren't I? Oh god, I got hit a lot there. Not always gonna be able to stand perfectly still here, but we'll try our best. I want to make sure I don't get hit by his laser breath as well. Not got much HP left, to be honest. <clears throat> now this is one where I definitely can't stand still for long, but I'll try my best. Oh, fucking Mars just got me hit. Sadly, we didn't get any brimstone on this floor. Mars, don't you fucking dare. I'm trying to make micro movements here. Fucking stop. Right, we got it. We got it. Holy hell, that was a fun run, though. A very fun run, indeed. I would go to Void if I still had my other item on, and more health. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.